Hello everyone, it's I, Wacky Anime What If here, here to present you with What If Deku Ended Up Taking Temp V Chapter 2? Well, let's go and get into it. Currently, Izuku Midoriya is 14 years old. It's been 10 years since he was declared quirkless, and his life has not been easy, to say the least. Many look at him in disgust. The moment that they, they know that he's quirkless, or that they hear about it. His own best friend, Bakugo Katsuki, that he was literally raised next to and grew up with, even hated him. He even injured him immediately upon finding out that he was quirkless, decided to beat the shit out of him, and even got the entire school involved in multiple different occasions he would turn everyone against him honestly Izuku just really was tired of it all he didn't care about heroes or villains anymore he didn't care about being a pro hero he just wanted some normal in his life so Izuku decides you know what I'm gonna go ahead on this Saturday and go for a jog just a normal jog and time skip to Saturday. Currently, Izuku has a tank top on, jogging pants, and running shoes on. And he's in the kitchen making breakfast. He made two egg sandwiches, bacon, and grits for both him and his mother. As his mother walks down the stairs and goes into the dining room and sits at the table, she ends up basically scarfing down her food immediately. Izuku... Izuku blinked, and her food was gone, and his food, which he literally had just gotten down and sat down and stabbed into his steak. The steak that was on his fork was gone, too, which also freaked him out, because he didn't even know that that happened. Like, he just blinked, and it just disappeared. Izuku started to think that she might be a food magi magician. <laughs> like, you, you put any food in front of, front of her, it's going to vanish. <laughs> Izuku immediately goes back into the kitchen and makes another egg sandwich. This time, he doesn't even put it on a plate. He just straight up grabs it and tries to bite into it. As he closes his eyes and is about to bite into the sandwich, all of a sudden he bites into the midair. And when he opens his eyes, he sees the sandwich is gone. And he sees Inko literally have breadcrumbs right on her face. And Izuku thinks, how in the fuck? How? That wasn't even a second. How did she even... She's, she's just sitting in the same place. Nah. This some this some fucking dark magic or some shit. And as Izuku comes to the conclusion about this, he decides to go ahead and try to get away. So he just runs towards the front door and just opens it, closes it, and locks behind him. And when he locks it behind him, he runs off for his jog. Two hours into the jog, Izuku is kind of exhausted as he drops by to a park and he just witnesses a whole shady-ass guy just sitting at a bench with a whole fedora on as if he's on some mafia boss shit with a shady bag next to him. And he put it on the ground and went to the restroom. Azuku being Azuku, well, he would have normally, you know, not messed with this guy's belongings, but he did see a needle poking out of it, and being curious, he decided to go ahead and just unzip the bag a little bit, and as he looked inside, he saw Temp V. He knows about this drug because of one reason. It's what some pro heroes or villains, or even... Just some normal quirkless people just use to either enhance their own current powers that they have or to gain powers for 24 hours if they're quirkless. Izuku decides since there's so many needles in there, he might not miss a few of them. So Izuku just takes about three of them and he just puts them directly in his pocket. He zips it back up. And he puts it back right where it was, right when the guy gets out of the restroom and sees the kid. He says, hey, did you go near my bag? Izuku just says, no, no, I didn't go near your bag. I was just jogging by. 
The guy says, good. Now run along, kid. Ezekiel decides to go ahead and run along, and he run along really fast, as he saw the guy was about to check into his bag, he was like, oh shit, he's gonna know. And as he was halfway away from the man, all of a sudden, he heard the guy scream, you rot, you sneaky bastard, you stole from me. And all of a sudden, the guy just injects himself with one of the Temp B injections. And when he does this, through the syringe directly into his neck, he gains super speed. This man speed blitzed Izuku. He was just right in front of him. Casually took two of the three syringes from his pocket. And was in front of him, waving them around, saying, Now I'm going to have to kill you, kid. You see, Tim B is something top secret. And the fact that you knew about it and, was, and ended up taking it, and obviously didn't think it was some other type of drug that you can get your high off of, obviously means that you know about it, so you know who produces it. So you're going to have to die and everyone related to you, so... Ah, uh, poor you. But oh well. The man immediately sees Azuku, just looks at him and says, No, 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 no. please, please, don't, don't kill my mother. He, she, she wasn't involved with any of this. And the man says, I'm sorry, but he, she's connected to you, isn't she? Azuku, in the moment, stabs himself directly in the leg with the one remaining Temp B syringe that he had in his pocket. The thing is, when he did this and he injected it, let's just say he wasn't expecting absolutely nothing to happen. And the man just says, oh. Uh, this is the first time that's happened. You know, that's some really weird shit. And Izuku just says, uh, is it weird enough for you to let me go? The man says, fuck no, and just runs through him. He just fucking explodes into smithereens. His body parts flying everywhere as the man super speeded, speeded through him. His limbs blown off, his organs scattered everywhere, and blood all over the ground as the man just casually ran off, has Izuku's phone and wallet, and just casually finds Izuku's place and heads towards there. Meanwhile, the remains of Izuku that are scattered everywhere start to piece themselves, to piece themselves together. It appears that the Temp B has given him immortality. Among other perks, as when he reforms back into his normal body with absolutely no damage, but being absolutely bare nude because his clothes were ripped to shreds, he realizes something. That bastard's coming, going after his mother. He has to get back. So he starts to run all the way to his mom's house, not caring about the state he's in or the people that are staring at him, thinking, why is his buck ass... Probably high motherfucker running across the street like a madman. Izuku didn't care about this. He only cared about his mother. But as he got there an hour later and opened the door, he saw his mom dead. Her heart ripped out and directly on the table. And as Izuku saw this, he puked. A few hours later, Izuku has clothes on and was giving... A report to the police that showed up and as he gives the report and they take away her corpse he gets two options one option is he could stay alone in the apartment until he can plead for his case for being independent and able to stay by himself or he can be put into an orphanage azuku decided to go with the first one as Quirkless people being in orphanages, he's heard many stories about that. As Izuku walks into his home, as the officers leave, he starts to slide directly on the door as it closes behind him, and he starts to cry. And that is the end of What If Deku Ended Up Taking Temp V Chapter 2. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, destroy that subscribe button, and make sure you tune in next time for the next part. Goodbye, everyone.